everybody, Ali Akbarian, your resident road safety expert, back again for another Q&A. Thank you very much for sending in those questions and uh, thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, please hit that button that looks a bit like this. We'd love your support, so please, please get us to that thousand sub subscriber mark. Get your friends to subscribe. Um, we give great content and great value. The button's down there somewhere, so hit that. And once we get to a thousand subscribers, we'll do something new with the pillow. All right, so on to today's question. Today's question is around wheelchair accessible vehicles and like what we're talking about here. So the vehicles where you cut the floor out and you allow a wheelchair to go in the back and you're transporting effectively in the rear of the vehicle. So we have a family that has um, written in and they have a Hyundai Santa Fe. They've bought that vehicle about, I think six months ago or so. So it's a very new vehicle. And then they've had a really unfortunate tragic incident in their family where their um, child, who's a teenage child, has become disabled and they need to get a vehicle cut out like this. And basically they've gone through a whole process and this is how they have to transport around. But they've just bought this vehicle and they basically can't afford another vehicle. And if anyone's sort of been in this market for a little while, post COVID and so on, you're waiting months and vehicles are hard to find and expensive and so on. So, so they're kind of stuck, right? Um, and they've come to us and said, is there any way that we can actually do this conversion on our Hyundai Santa Fe. It's got a big kind of wagon area type at the back there. Uh, it's a four wheel drive, so it's lifted up, but maybe we can make the ramp longer or something. And you know, can we do the same thing? And unfortunately, no, we can't. So we'll get a little bit technical here um, and I'll explain to you why. But basically the wheelchair accessible vehicle is a situation where you cut the rear of the vehicle out, right? And if you look a little bit, if you just come a little bit here to the side, and you'll see here how I've got these wheels here, right? So in a four-wheel drive, all four wheels are having drive sent to them. So there is components from the engine all the way through the middle of the car and connected to the wheels. There is big drive transmissions and there's all these kind of big components all underneath the vehicle. This vehicle doesn't have any of that. It's basically just got two freewheeling wheels that freewheel on the back, right? They don't, if you lift this car up and you spin the wheel, they'll just spin, right? So they're just freewheeling. They just sit into the vehicle and everything is through the front of the front wheels of the car. So the drive of the car is through the front wheels, the steering, all the um, main power, transmission, all of that goes through the front wheels. So what that means is in this car, there's actually nothing in the middle there. So I can cut this car and lower and put a tub in there and I can get my you know, wheelchair person in and out. So with vehicles where you have a forward drive and you don't have multiple wheels that are driving, then it's possible to do something like that if there's a van type arrangement. Now, unfortunately, four wheel drives, they don't have that. They have all four wheels driving, so they have componentry all the way up the middle of the car. And that's why you might even notice in the four wheel drives, when you sit in the back row, in the middle, the tunnel still goes all the way through because, um, you know, like the transmission tunnel, whereas in a sedan, you've got a flat rear um, you know, rear seat area. And the reason why is because you've got the components going through the middle of the car to the back seat uh, and the back wheels, and which sit under the back seat. And so as a result, you just simply can't cut that, right, from the rear. So hopefully that answers your question. It's not a favorable answer, unfortunately, but yeah, these cutouts and wheelchair accessible vehicles only happen on certain styles of vehicles, um, and generally wagon type vehicles where the drive comes out the front. So thanks very much for tuning in. As we say, hit that subscribe button down there. We'd love your support to get to that thousand subscriber mark and uh, we'll see you next time.